Hello everyone, my name is Fabian Deacon and I am a targeted individual, otherwise known as a TI. Now what a TI is, is a usually lifelong nominee and unlawful experimentee into defence systems, which is basically weaponry, defence systems, pharmaceuticals, surveillance technology, corporate marketing and urban planning. Now the purpose of said unlawful experimentation is that it is a social engineering experimentation that is meant to long story short it is meant to manipulate people's emotions into engaging in certain behaviors that suit the higher up so they can engineer situations get in front of things like protests or riots or any political uprisings basically to get in front of them so that they can still maintain control of whatever new social movements arise um, experimentation like this into social engineering has already led to very very strong controlled opposition that on the surface it seems to be challenging the status quo when really it's just reinforcing its power because what the ruling classes have always had to do is adapt to what the people have wanted in order to keep their position. So this unlawful experimentation, which the targets do not consent to, this unlawful experimentation is one of the ways in which the status quo can maintain their power and get ahead of the story, get ahead of events that would otherwise be natural in order to control the course of basically how their own power works or basically control the course of history so that the same families at the top can remain at the top. This is usually what is done to poorer people and history has dictated that this has been going on for a long time and it's also told us that the mental health profession is one of the key ways in which social engineering is maintained because anybody who catches on to the truth is usually deemed as being paranoid schizophrenic or having worse mental illnesses than they actually do, especially if the TI does not show signs of being driven mad by the torture in the way that the torturers want us to be. So with mental health being above the law, basically above the law as they are, it becomes a tool used by the powerful who are already engaging in unlawful experimentations to get away with said unlawful experimentations. And from the way I see it, the only way that it's going to change is if they stop financially benefiting from it or if they move on to the next course of social engineering.